what's up this is Atomic Swift and I'm back with another video this time it's for the new game that just came out at uh, midnight uh, The Division 2 and I'm gonna show you how well it runs in NVIDIA Surround if you watch my videos before you know how I do this I've got three 27 inch monitors right here and my accessory panel is also up here a 27 inch monitor where it monitors the GPU, CPU temp, and memory usage all that good stuff and if you don't know my specs, Intel Core i9 9900K processor, no overclock, uh, liquid cooling, 32 gig of uh, DDR4 RAM, um, let's see, MSI 1080 Ti graphics card with 11 gigs of RAM on board, um, try to think here, drawing a blank here for a second, oh, uh, NVMe, um, Samsung 970 Evo uh, eh, one terabyte SSD and uh, I think that's it dun, dun, dun. yeah there is it but anyway we're gonna run the game across these three 27 inch monitors I'm gonna show you what the performance looks like the last division if I remember correctly, I think it performed pretty well in NVIDIA Surround. Hopefully this one does as well. Um, so we're going to give it a shot right now. First I'm going to read you uh, what my settings are, my graphical settings. So we're going to go to settings right here. So my graphics set and quality is custom, Bright, uh, brightness doesn't matter. Frame rate limit off, shadow quality high, spot shadows high, spot shadow resolution ultra, contact shadows all high, resolutions, <coughs> resolution scale 100%, sharpening 7, particle detail ultra, volumetric frog ultra, reflection quality medium, local reflection quality very high, vegetation quality high, subsurface scattering on, anisotropic filtering 16x, uh, parallax mapping, yes. Ambient occlusion, very high. Depth of field on. Object detail, 60. Extra streaming distance, 10. Lens flare on. Uh, Vignette effect on. Water quality high. Chromatic aberration on. Uh, projected texture resolution. Five twelve high resolution sky textures yes terrain quality high that's under graphics settings now under video it's not windowed mode it's full screen resolution fifty seven sixty by ten eighty so if you didn't know it's ten eighty p across three three screens uh, refresh rate sixty uh, enable reduced latency yes enable DirectX twelve render. Uh, that actually says no. Hmm. Okay, we're going to apply this real quick, and I'm just going to back out of the game real quick. So that actually might do something, so we're just going to back out here. So once again, I'm just backing out because I just enabled uh, the DirectX 12. So, which, uh, if you didn't know, that requires uh, Windows 10. So don't try to do that, and it probably won't even let you if you have Windows 7. Okay, so now we're going to go back into the game here. Look at that, I'm disappointed. None of my friends are online playing this game. Losers. I mean, granted, it is uh, 3.39 in the morning, so yeah. Now, playing this on one monitor with all the settings set to ultra, I get over 130 frames. So it runs really good on one monitor. I'm curious to see how it runs across three. And that's what I'm going to show you in this video. I've made so many of these NVIDIA Surround videos. Some games perform better than others. Okay, so we're going to load the game real quick.
All right, so so right now I'm getting 71 frames. And like I said, this is on. Make sure that's video. Yeah, so that's custom. So we'll play it on this it for one second, and then I'm gonna in a second I'm gonna crank it up to ultra, and then see what we get. So. got to get Ah, uh, here we go. Oop. Okay, uh, we're still getting over 70 frames across 3 monitors, so that's good. Uh-oh. No, it wasn't supposed to go that way. God damn it. Yeah, maybe. Let's see. Oh, damn it. You know what? I think I was going the right way. Bullshit. Alright. Yeah, now we just hit 59. There's one frame below 60. So not not too bad here. That's my I don't care about my stash. I'm trying to get the hell out of this building. Hmm. Uh, let's see if I can can I do here. If we we don't have fast travel for there yet, that kind of shitty. I just want to hurry up and get to this because I'm not even going to lie. It's been a while since I played a third person game like this. Uh, NVIDIA Storm, I'm starting to get a headache. A little headache. Okay, so we're going to go down. I just want to get into like a gunfight or something. There we go. Okay. Okay. So this is like the second or third mission in the game. I can't remember. I want to say it's the second. Yeah, because the first is to find Odessa at the theater district. So we're still up over 60 frames. Oop. Look at that. As you can see, it's still running solid. I'm sure we'll get some sort of a dip once I uh, switch to um, ultra settings. I've been playing this for nine minutes. Oh, wow. Okay. The graphics look good. Said it's on custom. I like the first uh, division. This one looks like this is going to be good as well. Throw my drone out. Alright. So as you can see it's still uh, stable. I mean, it's uh, still up over 60, so I'm going to try switching. Bump, see if I can bump it up. Hopefully I don't have to restart the game, which I think I'm going to. If I bump it up to ultra. Low, medium, ultra. There we go. 
apply, confirm, yeah, see, so it's going to apply it the next time the game restarts, so we're going to restart that now. So it runs pretty good on custom where, you know, it was a mixture of the settings between high and very high, so it ran pretty good. We're just going to try it on ultra, I'll tell you what the frame rate's like, you can see what it looks like, and then that'll be the end of this video. Okay. Oh, and you know what? I just remembered I got all these things running up here. I forgot to tell you the memory usage, stuff like that. So we will do that right now. Forgot all about that. My bad. Okay, so... <clears throat> Since I've had the hardware monitor running, so playing that at the, that setting, my GPU was utilized 100%. The RAM on my GPU was 90%. And right now, just booting into the game, the game is using uh, 3.1 gigabytes. I have 32 gigs of RAM, so that, yeah, it doesn't matter. 3 gigs ain't nothing. I can now just bump it up to 3.2. The game's using um, roughly 80% of my CPU. Okay, and right now it's using 100% of my GPU, so I'm going to get into the game here. sure because I'm still getting 60 frames so we shall go to video no graphics that's what it was yeah graphics ultra okay so graphics quality is ultra now um, no frame rate limit oh it's some well, it's going to be limited to 60 because of uh, v-sync shadow quality high spot shadows high spot shadow resolution ultra Contact shadows all high resolution scale 100 pretty you know pretty much everything that was the same as before particle detail ultra sharpening seven volumetric fog <coughs> volumetric fog ultra reflection quality medium local reflection quality very high vegetation quality high uh, the anisotropic filtering 16x you know it's all the, that that stuff's all the same pretty much except for I think the ones that were ultra okay so where was that. There it is. Okay. See now on Ultra, I just saw a dip to 58, but then it jumps right back up to 60. That's so where I can actually go out in the field and see what it's getting. Um, okay, so I have a MSI 1080 Ti graphics card. It's utilizing it 100%. Uh, 77% of my 11 gigs of RAM on the video card. Uh, 35, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, 5.2 gigabytes of the actual RAM of my PC, and it's using 27% of my CPU. Um, it's My GPU is right now is running at uh, 1898 megahertz. The memory is running at uh, 5508. And let's see. GPU temp is uh, 75. Yeah. CPU temp is 50. It's uh, liquid cooling. I have an Intel, uh, oh, I'm sorry, not Intel, uh, Corsair H115i. Okay, so just run out of here. Do the same thing I did before. Go to that, you know, head to that building, get in a firefight along the way, and we'll see if the frame rate dips. Doesn't look like it's going to, but. Okay, now I just dropped to 59. Okay, it's... Yeah, I just dropped to 55. You just saw it there. 53, 51, 57, 56, 58. Yeah. 
So on an old tree, you're gonna you're gonna dip below 60. And uh, yeah, it's, now it's using a 5.4 gigabytes of uh, RAM on my PC. 30 38 percent of my CPU. I mean, it's still definitely this guy. Not here, crazy ass. Yeah, so I mean, it, it it's still getting between 50 and 60 frames. It's it's dipping every now and then from 60. It's, I mean, it's definitely playable on ultra like this. So, but yeah, so you can see see in my video. Let's kill these guys here. Set up and the drone out. Kill these guys real quick. Love that drone. Anyway, so that is my video. I said, oh my god, I'm at 16 minutes. My bad. Didn't mean to make the video so long, but you know, it shows um, shows the game in action across the three 27-inch monitors. Uh, it runs it runs pretty good on custom or ultra. I would play it on custom just because it was uh, pretty much always over 60 frames. And. Uh, said ultra was about 50 dipped below 50 and 60 pretty regularly uh, once you got into action out there in the city so uh, yeah that's my video um, I appreciate all likes comments appreciate all subscribers I'm almost to 160 subscribers never thought it would even get to 100 honestly um, so like I said thanks for watching all my videos and that is division 2 I'm sorry the division 2 running in uh, Windows Windows 10 Pro 64-bit in NVIDIA surround on a GeForce uh, MSI 1080 Ti graphics card across three 27-inch monitors. So uh, thanks for watching and bye for now.